Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today I'm going to tell you about the newest fragrance from Valentina. It's called Valentina Green Stravaganza and it, this is a part of Valentina Born in Roma fragrance line. I happen to have all fragrances from that line, so in case you're interested, I can make sort of a comparison video and tell you which fragrance I love the most. I have this Coral Fantasy I love uh, very much and I have this fragrance Yellow Dream. This is this is my favorite one of the bunch. I have a classic one which is uh, Born in Roma and I also have um, Intense. This, uh, this one is female and this is for male. And I, yeah, and I also have a male version of um, Coral um, Fantasy. So let me, let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to uh, express my opinion on this line. So basically I have today a new fragrance and it comes in 10 mils and I also have 15 mils. So I have two of these bottles and look uh, how much I have already used and I've been using this fragrance for around a week and I have been giving this fragrance to my friends as well to kind of test it, to use it, to smell it and this fragrance has three notes. We have uh, tea, uh, it's Lapsang Sushong tea, it's supposed to be a little sm bit smoky, uh, smoked uh, tea. Then we have jasmine and then we have vanilla. So I have to tell you that I was very very excited about uh, this fragrance when I first read that it's coming out because first of all green extravaganza beautiful right and I have pictured this fragrance to be more green than it is so because when we hear like green it automatically takes us to green grass or maybe green leaves or maybe uh, freshly cut grass something like that I have to say that the name, in my opinion, is a bit misleading. There's nothing extravagant, there's nothing green about this fragrance as well. So um, I do feel that this is a solid, nice release, a mass appealing fragrance. But I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with this fragrance. I like it. I have to say that I like it. It's very beautiful. People like it. I loved it. Uh, but... It's generic. There's nothing exciting about this fragrance. Um, somehow, like for example, this one. This one is the one that I love the most. The the Yellow Dream. It has nothing outstanding. It has a little bit of lemon. It has a little bit of rose and musk. But the way it's all blended, it, in, at, at least for me, this is one of the coziest fragrances. And I was expecting something similar from this green extravaganza because the nails are nothing special. Well, first of all, I was ex expecting this uh, tea to be a little bit smoked because this one, it, it's not smoked at all. Uh, so um, the jasmine, it's absolutely nice and likable jasmine. This is not idolic jasmine, this is not animalic jasmine, beautiful kind of commercial, beautiful, um, nice jasmine. The vanilla is sweet and nice, but not over overly sweet. It's not a cloying vanilla. So what I have at the end of the day, this feels to me is if I would be sipping on a cup of uh, tea, like jasmine tea, sweetened jasmine tea. That's, that's what it is for me. Sweetened jasmine tea, doesn't have an intense smell, right? It doesn't. So this, the same thing happens to this fragrance, in my opinion. I love my fragrances to be bold and prominent and to be heard, to be seen, to be smelled. But with this one, I had a bit of a difficulty. I had to, you know, to um, put more and more and more sprays for this fragrance to be heard. Because I had this feeling that the fragrance is not very loud, which is, it's like a minus for me, because I prefer my fragrances to be loud, 
so that I know from the from the start that I I can spray my usual like five six eight sprays and uh, it's I'm good enough for the day. But with this fragrance, I just kept kept layering and layering, and people around me they I, they were not bothered with the smell because you could actually barely feel the smell. But if you would put the nose really really close to your skin i have this fragrance now on my skin then you would feel it then you would hear it so what i get from this fragrance it's very nice and very calm and very not um, intense smell which is in my opinion is a minus but i can i can see that this is gonna be a mass appealing uh, fragrance it's gonna be really, really nice for spring. So they actually did a smart choice to release it now when we have um, February, the 14th of February coming. Uh, so it's gonna be very well sold, in my opinion. Um, they also have the male version. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to test that one yet. So yeah, I, I like this fragrance, but for me, in my opinion, for what for how I like fragrances, how, for how I like to wear them, this is not a fragrance that I'll go and buy a full size. Well, uh, I have 25, well, 20 mils now at the moment. So it's gonna be it for me, because uh, for me, it smells like really generic. I have lots of fragrances like that. Lots of this kind of a bit vanilla, a bit uh, white flower fragrance, and uh, there's just no need to add another one. That yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's not standing out from this line. That's what I'm. I have to say, but I think it's a nice one. It's a nice one, and it it's it's definitely is gonna have um, many many. Um, people that would like uh, this fragrance absolutely so yeah I just it's just that I was expecting it to be a bit more interesting a bit more something um, like smoky the vanilla may be something more interesting like vanilla for example in goddess in Barbary goddess something like that but what we have it's perfectly normal nice like well uh, mass appealing and uh, sort of nice scent but nothing special really in my opinion there's nothing special about this scent i have to say that um i have been adding and adding sprays for this fragrance to kind of to feel it a bit more so i have to say that the uh, longevity of this fragrance is nice uh, like seven hours easily uh, even without like adding always adding the sprays so you will have to um really well, if you would make one to two sprays, you will still get seven hour uh, wear of this fragrance. It's just that it's gonna be really almost unnoticeable on your skin. So if you like bold fragrances, if you like loud fragrances, um, I strongly suggest you to go out and test it first before you buy it, because you can be a bit disappointed. Uh, with the intensity of this fragrance. Yeah, uh, let me let me know if you have already tried this fragrance. Did you like it? Did you buy it? Uh, I thank you for your attention. I will see you next uh, next time on Sunday. I hope you will have a beautiful, nice day. And yeah, bye.